aka Mr. Reef Safe. And today is the day that I do my entire aquarium cleaning. Well, the sump, the overflow box, and all the equipment that is. For this cleaning, I leave the tank alone. So I just allow the water to drain far enough down so that I can drain the overflow box. And I just run the aquarium as a standalone for the day. In the past, this job has taken me about 10 hours. This time I got it cut down to about seven and a half hours. So I did pretty good. Of course, I did do some prep the day before, so if I added that in, I'm probably about nine hours in. So the sump is out, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but you'll see here in a second that I have some wire management to do. And I will be doing that in upcoming weeks, and there will be a video about that too, because I have something cool going on with that. So here's the sump outside, hitting a couple old milk crates, and I've got it filled with water and citric acid, and I'm just gonna let this soak and then clean it later to put it back under the tank. As I said, I like to do this every year, get everything nice and clean. So this is the overflow box, and you can see all the growth in there. I had to get some light in here to really show it off, and you can just see there's so much stuff in there, and it's a muddy, muddy bottom there, all the detritus that is built up, and this is going to take some cleaning to get done. But get it done, I will, and I'm going to use vinegar to do that. So after I've drained it down, I filled it with vinegar, about three gallons worth, and boy, is it messy in there it's disgusting and dirty but this is finally going to get my overflow box clean at least until next year now i'll let this sit for a couple hours while i clean the sump and some of the other equipment that i have out and you'll see here just this is it already starting to work those bubbles are just dissolving the uh, calcified bits in there and just breaking down all of the dirt so you can see the scum layer on the top, it's floating up. It is doing a good job breaking down that dirt. But even with that, I'm going to have to drain it down and use a shop vac to pull all of that out. And I'm gonna show you just how disgusting it is. And that is what I pulled out with my bucket vac. And there's actually more that went down when I took the pipes out that flowed underneath into the bucket. But this is just what I vacuumed out and you can see how bad that is. So everything's getting back together. Here's a little bit of wire management. And I know that looks weird to say wire management, but believe me, that's better than it was. And again, in a few weeks, I'm gonna be doing something really cool. And here is the sump and you can see just how much more clean and uh, set up it is and how much more room I have in here because I did the wire management on this side for the most part. But I got it all up and running. And as I said, it took me about seven and a half hours but boy, is it looking good. And one last shot of the overflow. And once you look in there, you'll see it is nice and clean and running clear. That may not be the best picture, but I can guarantee you it's nice and clean. So that was my annual tank maintenance. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.